I just want to touch on it just a little, just a tad. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Mahai, and today I'm gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me. These used to be my favorite videos on my channel, so I'm definitely gonna bring them back. Today I'm gonna be talking about the YouTube algorithm, just things that I've learned, and just chit chat. And honestly, I feel like I was rambling this whole video, so hopefully, um, you guys enjoy it. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I don't know what kind of look I was going for today, but I think I'm gonna do like minimal basic makeup, you know, me. I already did my brows off camera. Um, and my hair is looking like this today. I also already moisturized and I'm just gonna put primer on. Primer and get into it. Today's topic of choice for this shit should I get ready with me is basically blowing up on YouTube, growing on YouTube, um, staying consistent on YouTube. And also just some things that I, I want to just talk about today. These two foundations today. So recently I've been doing... Well, this Fenty is gone and I'm just... I'm dragging it. Really dragging it. I might have to use the NARS, but the NARS is too light for me still. I'm not that dark or I'm not that light yet. I'm going to add a pump of the NARS even though... I don't know how it's going to look. We'll see. Good. I'll work with it. If anything, I'll just bronze more. Recently, I've been doing a lot of research on YouTube. Um, it's algorithm, how to boost my posts, just everything on the back end of YouTube because it can seem, no, YouTube can be very complicated. Let me just be right there. YouTube can be very complicated. Their method or their, algor their algorithm on how they do things or whose post gets seen it's very weird i don't know it's just so confusing i've done so much research on how the algorithm of youtube works um and how i can utilize just the tools that i have um in the youtube studio if you guys are youtubers or do youtube or whatever you guys know they have the youtube studio and there's so many things that i don't really utilize on there that I've learned that I should do or just other apps that I can use which is really helpful so happy for that because your girl has been very uninspired um I don't know I just been feeling uninspired I haven't been wanting I've been wanting to film but at the same time I feel like I just have no ideas or the ideas that I do have if I try to execute them I just don't feel like ooh, I just don't feel like they turn out exactly how I want them and I think I'm a perfectionist in certain ways so if I don't get it the way that I imagined it it's like throw the whole video away I don't even want it I don't even want it anymore but being consistent is one thing that I feel like anybody who's trying to be on YouTube is tired of hearing. But I definitely understand it because I used to post very few and far. And the more or the fact that I've been posting more, I should say, has definitely boosted my views. They're not where I want them to be, but no. I can't lie, I had definitely have grown, so I'm gonna give myself that. So the last time that I posted was about a month ago. As I said, be consistent. <laughs> but like I said, I've been really uninspired. Um, on my channel, if you look at my channel, I've been posting a lot of vlogs, and I do love vlogs, but I'm just, I don't know. Like, I don't want my whole channel to be filled with my personal life. <laughs> I don't know how that works but I know it's my channel but I'm just not into showcasing like every moment of my life that's just not the kind of person that I am but I don't know vlogging just seems very I don't know how to explain it it's just very personal and for certain times that's fine but 
I don't want to be vlogging and showing my whole life all the time. I feel like that's just just not for me. Another thing that I want to touch on is the feeling of YouTube being oversaturated. I've heard that a lot. I feel like I've talked about this before. I'm not really sure. I have terrible memory to be honest. So if I did, girl, I'm sorry. I just want to touch on it just a little, just a tad. I hear a lot that YouTube is oversaturated and that um, you just can't make it as a YouTuber nowadays, whatever, um, if you're just starting out. And I don't think that's the case. I think that anybody can make YouTube videos. Um, every time that I see someone new making YouTube videos, I always encourage them. I'm just like, who cares? There's so many people that I watch that may be in the same niche or they do the same like content, but I still watch them. So who cares if there's 20 different people who vlog in. Who cares if there's 20 people doing makeup? Who cares if there's 20 different people doing hair? Like, there's always someone for you. Always. Always someone that's going to be into your content. There's always going to be somebody that gravitates to your personality. And another thing that I want to touch on is just being original to yourself. Be original. If 20 different people are doing the same content as you, the thing that will make you stand out is of course personality um i think a lot of people think oh because this person blew up this way i'm gonna be like that and it's just it doesn't work and it just seems I i'm gonna say it's annoying so <laughs> I, I just can't it's just it's like doing the most sensual yes for like views and i think it's really sad i like to post on youtube because it's fun I like to post content, it's good, I like editing. So, this is fine for me. But, that's near here or there. I wanna jump back onto what I was talking about earlier about doing your own research. Um, not only on the algorithm, but just overall. YouTube on the back end. Especially if you enjoy creating and you want to be a content creator because I've honestly learned so much I'm not an expert I'll list some videos down below that really help me um, and hopefully they help you as well I've done YouTube for a while on and off um, like I've never been consistent uh, to be honest like I think this past quarantine has been the most consistent I've been is definitely shown. I've definitely gained more subscribers when I'm consistent. So that whole like, oh, be consistent. <laughs> it actually works. I know people are tired of hearing it because in every video, no joke, in every single video that I've watched, they're like, how to grow your subscribers, how to gain traction on your YouTube videos, how to be seen on the For You page, whatever. Basically stuff like that. Um, it's always be consistent and of course who wants to watch people who aren't consistent y'all know this but it's that that just doesn't go through our heads I don't know what it is it doesn't go through our heads I don't know and we're back I ended up finishing my makeup off camera add a little corner highlights nothing too serious I didn't put any highlighter on anything just the inner corners just want to keep it real simple I want to close this video off basically saying stay true to yourself Stay consistent. Um, basically, these are things I'm telling myself all the time. So I want to tell you this as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned to my next one. Bye guys. Could it be you calling me down? Down, 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 down. That foolish heart turns out the star.